when like we think about half the stuff we've been through, we know we ain't had nothing. Mm-hmm. We know we ain't have nothing to do with it. Like, I don't even know how I got through that. It had to been God. <laughs> I didn't do that. Sometimes there's t- like divine timing where it's just like just beyond my like comprehension. Like for example, Slick Woods. We had been my team and I had been wanting Slick Woods to be in our show and. Right. Even if it wasn't on the runway, I was like, I want her front row. I love her look. Like, I, I want her next to our brand. And so we had, like, reached out a little bit. It didn't really work out. You know, we didn't get that much traction, whatever, whatever. Literally, she just popped up at our show. Just shows up out of nowhere. My assistant is like, well, Lick is here. Did you book her? And I was like, no. Are you kidding me? And she's like, yeah, she's here with Sean and da 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 And I was like, what the fuck? literally walk backstage and she's there it was like dude we literally like manifested this shit this shit is crazy Man, you just so, gave me chills i love stories like that <laughs> you have no choice but to believe in the higher power you're like Man, ain't no way it's wood oh my god <laughs> that's awesome yeah that's what's up. so you um you i see that you're part of the uh the acting experience and you know with that is everyone from lena waith to Megan Good, you know, how, how did that come together and how were you able to establish those relationships to, to put something of that magnitude together? First and what all, is that? Shout out to my whole acting experience team. Um, I have to shed light on them and kind of praise them because um, that's really how I'm able to connect with Lena and all those other people is, is through my business partners. Um, they're kind of heavy hitters in the industry and so they've got you know tons of relationships from way back when with um, a lot of actors especially Mm -hmm. in the black community so that's been a huge blessing Um, the alignment on that was really you know god sent but again that was like a strategic networking thing on my part that i had been chipping away at that that seed i planted like eight to ten years ago there's a guy that my team was working with and he was on glee and when i was doing fashion shows i was just like we need to get any and every celebrity through here that we can okay um but we also need a cool host maybe the guy from glee can host our show so bring him in he hosts a show come to find out he's uh megan good's cousin so i'm like man maybe one day she'll come to a show that's a long shot it never happened at that time um then later i ended up meeting his megan's sister dijon's cousin on set at um at an adrian bylon shoot my camera guy the um, kevin hart guy had invited me to set it was just like hey come check it out some people here i want you to meet so I go over and I connected with Lamaya, who was producing that shoot and was like, hey, I really need a producer for my show. So basically I ended up hiring them both at one point, realized they're cousins. And then fast forward, they were working in like every show with me. So Dijon was hosting the model experience and Lamaya was working backstage. So it was like school family affair and then at some point I was like, hey, you guys are big in the acting world. Now Dijon's on like Netflix. He's got all these movies and shows and stuff that he's in. Um, so pretty much presented Lamaya with the idea of like, hey, we need to do it. the acting experience. It's a natural progression for models to get into acting. So, you know, there's something here. You have all the relationships, like let's come together. Mm-hmm. So we basically partnered and then COVID hit. And then we were like, shit out of luck because our concept was all in person we were going to do in-person workshops um you know a few different coaching things but everything was going to be in person so we just kind of like hit a wall and then we kind of like came together bounced back and decided to do this online coaching situation and tie that in with a subscription so subscriptions are really nice move business wise because you can it's it's better you can plan it monthly i mean Mm -hmm. it just it's it's kind of it's a not like passive income but i don't i don't know how to explain it but it's it's a lot better than 
to plan your, your flow out that way. So through the subscription and connecting with some of these celebrities, it's, it's been, um, it's been a success. We're definitely still growing and we have a lot of growth to do, but I attribute a lot of those relationships to my partners. Okay. If you would mind kind of simplify, uh, both the model experience and the acting experience as far as what people get out of it and, and differentiate the two. Say, for example, if someone that like, you know, just came to LA or even yeah. if they're not in LA, cause it seems like now you're doing things uh, digitally, yeah. just kind of simplify exactly what they get out of those two. So for the acting experience, um, you basically get uh, a coaching session. It's, it's basically an acting room or an acting class. And so every class, is kind of tailored to different techniques. We have one that's like intro to actors. So that's for people that are kind of just getting started. We have a more like expert level um, for people that are a little bit, you know, more seasoned. And then we have, um, you know, a couple other like things that we're doing. So you can kind of come in, pick where you want to be, um, mm -hmm. kind of jump on board. And we have like those special guests come through that you've seen, you know? The Devon uh -huh. Franklins, the Megan Goods, the, the Lena Waits. So aside from it just like you're learning, it's also you kind of get to network too, you know, and it's like you're in a room with these people digitally and virtually. Uh -huh. Right, right. Gotcha. Like, you know, if Megan's in a class and you're reading, you might be able to get some feedback from her, you know. Right. I see. Helping people connect the dots just like you did. Yes. So that's the acting experience platform. And once things open back up, we'd like to be able to do, you know, more events, but that's okay. kind of where we're at right now with the model experience. Um, it was basically like a two or three day um, kind of course. So day one, you would come in for a photo shoot. Okay. Day two, you would come in for model coaching. So we have, you know, runway coaches from America's Next Top Model. They come, they show you what to do. And then the last day you get to walk in a fashion show. So it was gotcha. like a three day experience uh, for models. Man. So it's, it's almost like I envision the way you have that all broken down. Like if there's a billboard that just says, want to be an actor, want to be a model. It's like exactly. somebody can just click on okay. your link and it's just kind of going to take them and hold their hand through it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's good. See, people there's, need it's something. not like a roadmap for those industries. You know, that's kind of what we're trying to do. So, yeah. Well, I see you, you put one time to take 100 people to put a show together mm -hmm. one time. So with that, I'm pretty sure with COVID now, it doesn't take as many people to do these digital shows <laughs> when it comes mm -hmm. to the acting experience. And then now you pivot into the, uh, the outside cinema. How is that going to work? Is outside cinema going to be like, I can just pretty much pull up and watch a movie? Or is it like I got to have like a subscription? Like how, how would you structure that for people to attend yeah um well first of all a hundred people yeah you reminded me that that was that's crazy that's a lot <laughs> of employees that's a lot of overhead that was insane but between like makeup artists backstage yeah. um builders that put the stage together it was like it was a lot and feeding a hundred people for three days for two meals each day you know, so they'll let them be a vegan like me and Toya. I got forget that I got four kids, and I think it's stressful. You talking about a hundred? <laughs> she's talking about grown people too, right? Oh no, 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 no. So the luxury of being able to do the digital and virtual thing is kind of nice too. You know, not having all that liability or overhead or right. You eat at home now. <laughs> but with the cinema um basically we we ask everyone to buy their ticket online a lot of the places that aren't doing that end up with like three hour waits and then you don't know if you're gonna get in because who knows what the line looks like so we're doing everything um online and ticketed so you buy a ticket and then we also teamed up with some really awesome food trucks and restaurants all uh, minority owned all businesses of color. So we have like a menu that we curated with like everything from veggie nachos to chicken wings to oh. um, gourmet uh, donuts and kind of like all the munchies that you need to watch a movie. Wow. And where where is this again? Where's your play? Downtown. In LA? Oh yeah. 